tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tice log fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sours our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another tiefling prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Unless you bear the mark, of course. Food? Food? Food. Right? <laughs> the never flew so high. Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Cause it makes me laugh. <laughs> we ain't looking for company, maggot. Not unless you want to join him up there. <laughs> How about this? You pay a toll and go on as you like, or else you fly. Chop it up! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I don't want lessons, I want gold. But I'll settle for cutting out that silver tongue of yours. Whoa, whoa, quick! Get him! I know things. If you let me live, I'll make it worth your while. I promise. M my lot are kept nearby. I can get you inside. No hassle. You can loot it, do whatever. There's a hidden path. P -p 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 past the, the bridge into the camp. Over to the side before you reach the first guards. E easy. F -f -f thanks and apologies. <clears throat> Time for a chat. Help me down! Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. We... we should keep moving. I... I don't know exactly. Lady Shaw, protect me. Maybe. Felt oddly familiar, but I don't know why. I saw something that reminded me of my faith, my mission. I felt something rise within me like my blood was on fire. Then it passed. That's all I know. It's stopped now, whatever it is. Let's just carry on. Come on! 
Magus will be done. Cut me loose! Oh, Maga Kamara. Those pustulant thugs! Well, get on with it. You saved me, now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Nothing? Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. Let me guess. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Best if we just get the subject out of the way now. The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. It's less difficult than you might imagine, when you can't remember life without it. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering, so long as it has meaning. Speak. What's on your mind? Everyone what? A dragon rider. My kin are near. What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Margresham! Look. Down there. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Unless you're looking for a fight, that is. Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. What? Just follow you around? 
I go my own way. Alone. Rag. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istic. This is y your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istic. Now burn! Wasting time, Beretha. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. The dragons serve Gif Yankee. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. <clears throat> Kithrak, we must speak. Someone in this wretched world has what we need. Yes, Kithrak. We shall find it. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme, the Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A Geek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Gith Raider's hands. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. A current of deception carries Voss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos! To the sky! Damn it all! You did well to intervene, vexed as I am to admit it. The Gestil Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. 
No one, not even the ignoble Gestil Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. Contraptions, a hot ticket item. Might not be our last scrap for its sake. Soldier. It seems the Githyanki are keen to reclaim the artifact I carry. I can't afford that to happen. In fact, none of us can. That thing is shielding us somehow. I don't want to know what happens if we lose it. I only know what I know. I was ordered to retrieve it, and that's what I intend to do. The rest is immaterial to me. Speak. Quickly. Hmm. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my... energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws Give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. The voice is gone. Muted by this... this gith relic. Why does a half-elf carry it? I think that was the Absolute speaking to us. But we managed to shield ourselves. We should keep moving. I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. Because it was our mission to retrieve it. Me and... the others. I'm the only one who made it. Shah's blessings upon you. Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. It's called faith. Duty. 
doesn't have to add up to me as long as I serve. I'm part of a bigger plan. One that will be revealed in time. That's not a luxury open to many people, us included. I have my faith to turn to instead. You should find something of your own. I told you already. I surrendered my memories for the sake of the mission. Shah's secrets must be protected. Duty demands it. Once I fulfill my mission, I can have my memories restored. Hey, soldier. Speak. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Chukil Gake Vlaketh Mazathok! Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. A shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. Lazelle's fear grips you. Not fear of death, but fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazelle, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon. Forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Vlacketh. I cannot trust my own mind, so it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this, I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. I came just in time. You are transforming. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it, nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it.
A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. You'll feel better. I promise. Well, hello. I had a wild dream last night. This beautiful entity came to me, promised to protect me. Told me the parasite in our heads could give us power. Sounds like it. What did you make of it? Damn right. Things like a splinter. We just need to find a way to squeeze it out. Glick. I had a dream, as we all did, I suspect. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. The parasite has taken root, it would seem. Every word, every promise, it is geek deception. You're delusional. I'd sooner trust a night hag than a strange figure bearing dream gifts. Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole, use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess in the waking world or otherwise. Fine. What's on your mind? How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. Perhaps I never did. And never will again. Of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Auntie Ethel's face creases with false concern. You realize she's lying about seeing this girl, Mayrina. Stop this! We... We won't ask again. Sweetie, be careful! He's with the hag! Don't bloody stand there gaping! Get him! Oh, my stars! I... I didn't mean for this to happen. Those poor boys were looking for their little sister, Marina, the girl who is staying with me. This is all my fault, but I made a promise. Marina, 
begged me not to breathe the word if they came looking for her. And my word is my bond. That poor thing would be distraught. We can't let her know it would break her poor heart. I'd best get going, but please stop by my house. I'd like to thank you proper. She fool us. I reckon the sister's in trouble. We need to pay Ethel a visit. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. I love surprises. Someone had a party here, or something. Catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Forgive the aroma. Powdered iron vine, an old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. Guilty. My people are wanderers. We travel across Faerun, doing what we can, where we can. Here, I will rid this land of a wicked evil. A beast that prowls the night. I seek only one evil, a vampire spawn named Astarian. Are you all right, my friend? You look a little pale. I'm hoping the hag of these lands can help me, if I could afford her price. I've been hunting at night, but not found any trace of my prey. He cannot hide forever, though. I will catch him and return him to Baldur's Gate. My people were recently attacked in the night, our camp set upon by a band of vampire spawn. In the chaos of battle, one of them stole away with our children, and we've been searching for them ever since. We believe this Astarian knows exactly what happened that night and where to find our little ones. You remember the night well. The shouts of battle, the screams of the children as you drag them away. Monsters are monsters. And whatever his reasons, the monster still knows where our children are. And good luck to you, my friend. Be safe. We here. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. 
One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh, if it isn't my hero. You took ages. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa, hmm? Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Beautiful, isn't it? It's my little refuge for the lost and hopeless. People in dire need travel from all over Faerun to see little old me. And I do my damnedest to help them. And you, Petal, well, you need a lot of help. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Busy bodies are not appreciated around here. I don't like this. What's really going on here? I'll talk about your wriggler, and that's it. Last warning. Quicker than you can say yes, Auntie. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? You're a sharp one. I am proposing a deal, but it's different from your little pact. You see, I prefer personal things. One of your pretty little peepers. Oh dear, you don't have one to spare. Terribly sorry, Petal, but no deal for you. Should you know someone with two eyes in their head and a regular problem, send them my way. Auntie will sort them out. Come now, Marina. Time to go. Hello, sweetness. I'm still waiting for someone with a spare eye. Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. Here for what? Finders keepers. My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. My darling Magrin, she wished for the mind of a genius, but the silly head crossed me. Oh, oh, my head! Oh no, no! Why ain't I petrified? What? How? How am I still breathing? I've the bite. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Your insides end up on the outside. Petrification stops the spread. I was on death's door. But now I feel... I feel great. How? Oh. He detects traces of decaying magic within him. Likely the cause of his disease. But that doesn't make a lick of sense. The bite ain't magical. 
Unless... that double-crossing, filthy, lying hag! She made me sick, and then trapped me in stone for kicks! I don't know! Days! Years! My kids were only babes when I left. The stones know how old they are now. Only because of you. I... I ain't got no way to repay you. And no, what you've done for me and mine today won't be forgotten. Thank you. My dearest Efren, he begged me to help the be deadly disease that ravaged him. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. Is the hat gone? God, tell me she's gone. Oh, please. May she burn in the nine hells. The hag. There's never been a more vile creature. The things she did to me. I was a fool. I wanted to know my fate. I had a choice between two lives, and I was frightened of choosing wrong. I asked the hag to help me see what the future would hold. Got what I wished for, too. I saw my future self, a corpse, rotten with maggots, and everyone around me dead, putrid and dead. A boring story, stay or go, marriage and kids or a life of novelty. I lost my best years rather than just choose. Yes, I will. Thank you. Auntie will be awake soon. She'll be so angry. You can't take Auntie's gift. Silence is gold. What's yours is mine. Keep in base. In the cage. A word, if I may. You bastard! You ruined it! You ruined everything! Ethel was going to bring my husband back, back from the dead, and now I'll never see him again. 
Because of you! This... Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this... All this would have been over. Don't judge me. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic, even. More than I could have done. She said I'd make a bad mother. I... I think she was right. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. What's this now? Gods, didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> Not even a little bit, but I will be. What? You can! You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? But this isn't what she promised. I wanted him back, back the way he was, not he might be. And if he is, I'll find him and bring him back. Thanks. But we'll need more than luck. A bloody miracle, more like it. I'll find a wizard or something. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said you can find anything in that city. Remember? And thank you. I guess. Come on, love. Let's go. <laughs> Work out the way you imagined, I reckon. Uh, no turning back time now. Speak. What's on your mind? May the darkness protect you.
think I know what you mean. There's an undeniable rapport, and yet we haven't made time for each other. Time alone. Easily remedied, if you like. I know a place. Not just yet. Let's choose our moment. Some quiet night, when the others are asleep and there's no distractions. I'll come for you. Soldier. Well, my day just improved. Did you want something? Primitive contraption, but not without its use. The magic is old and wavering, but you recognize it. The mirror is a thinking lock, hiding some secret. The face is crafted to be pleasing, but the personality is just a reflection of the wizard that created it. Speak your name. Alas, all you see is empty space. The mirror reflects nothing. Lacking any evidence to the contrary, you assume you look amazing. Speak your name. What is your name? I do not know this name. If you are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. There is a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then... is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You feel the darkness radiating from the book. It's delicious. A cursed book. How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. Please don't open the creepy book. Irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly you are capable of anything. Felling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. Symbols move aggressively, probing your mental defenses. But you hold strong. For now.
world around you is gone. You can only see those glyphs, only hear those voices. You feel claws moving in the shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. The glyphs scream, branding your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten, fate undone, your future thrumming with power. Black strands of weave curl all about you, only to sink as into graves as you try to grab hold. Necromantic spells, tantalizingly powerful, slip away forever. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you, you should never have known. Hey, soldier. You said you might try cooling me down. Any leads? Yes! I'm... It's clever. Might even work. Come here. Dizzy. And you, are you all right? I hope that's true. Because I'm hoping for seconds, thirds, and fourths once we find a way to cool off this engine. Mine too. Soon enough, you're going to be mine. But until then, I'll play nice. You have your fun with the angry alien till then. I don't mind sharing. But keep a piece left over for me. Hmm? I will then. You know, I've been catching myself smiling more lately. I think that's your fault. Very serious of you. But go ahead. It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a Dark Justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I'm already blessed to have you at my side, after all. Speak. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought a Mind Flayer might know how to extricate one of its own from you. But a Meloem couldn't help you. Your tadpole lives. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Omeluam is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Omeluam realized this before he attempted a fatal extraction. 
The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. I have kept a careful watch on the movements of the cult. Though the Absolute's aims are not yet clear to me, its methods are. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. I protect you from becoming a Mind Flayer. I cannot protect you from yourself. But I know what it is like to be burdened by forces outside of your control. We are alike. You and I. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. The power I use to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. <sighs> Look it, Claw. Sapper's here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight. As the symbol glows, Power courses through you. Authority. How'd you know? Dumb as a rock, but world class at tearing the throats out of wee ones, she is. Rest of her litters inside in the pens. Beautiful beasts. Be a shame if you came all this way without having a look. But I can't let you pass just like that. Celebrating a raid, we are. You'll need to wear our war colours. Nice dab of this across the mug. Ought to do it. Shitey fake shite.
With fragilous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash, the captives were many, goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin. The true soul had led you collide. <laughs> than any I've spied! Oh, Boulder Dash. Oi, stranger! You make him with my pigeon. He's talking stupid now. Come, let's continue our ballad. <coughs> draw Ragslin, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, um, uh, I am a draw Ragslin. Um, um, come choose, uh, uh, draw Raxlin. Uh, um. Bah! You broke him! Wait, wait. Uh, draw Raxlin, we pray, we. Uh... Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, look what you've done. Even a come on! And the ogre! <laughs> of course, man. My name's Gribble, idiot! Well, now, you look like a toughen, but have you got smarts, skills, guts? And you're gonna need it, mate. This ain't just this. It's got feathers, don't it? A beak. Besides, I reckon it owes us, seeing as how it just ate our last chicken. Reckon it owes us. Sound easy? It ain't. But no. Mother gone. Hungry. New home? Maybe. Got to get away from here first. The cub seems anxious to leave, but afraid to defy the. Keeping pace. Getting house in order. Real treat. We've got the matter well in hand. And if we make too big a splash, well, goblins are used to a rocket. Statue of Saluna. 
This room must have been dedicated to her. Who wants another dream? And now it's an extra for some filthy goblins. A fitting in. <laughs> Bloody arm is killing me. Ears to the best sedative there is. Booze. Hey, hey! You ain't rounding me up for no raid. No way. I'm drinking. Yeah, is to the absolute. This is making having a drink. It's all the sweeter when it's free, isn't it? Of course. Sweat that in was asking for a burning, selling this muck. Are you even chewy? I ain't paid to talk. Keep walking. Absolute meat ain't ready yet. The wolves take an age to roast. Prefer human meat myself. Juicier. Oh, you're making me salivate just standing there. One of his mates was a tasty-looking long pig, but he ain't ready for the spit yet. <sighs> Lads have got him inside. Nah, druids are all beardy and woodsy, ain't they? This lot were a scabby gang of tomb robbers. Had a big old war bear with them, though. Took five of our meanest lashes to chain it up. We'll beat the fight out of it and make it one of our own. <laughs> Enjoy poke is in Taste even better, will you lick it? More heretical symbol. Fresh disarmony bear ends. We couldn't pick this humans. Oh, you got him good. And who are you? Another pest? Humans. Finger rule the world. Ah. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Your blood runs quicker feeding the gnawing absence at the center of your mind. F forgive me. I had no idea. The other true soldier are inside. They're planning and such. Shooting arrows at this. Excuse me. Then this other guy twirls his feet. You look like you think you're wrong. Mess with us, and you'll end up like this bleeder. Don't matter who he was, he ain't nothing but a stain now. Just like you'll be if you don't clear off. Oh, you're real tough, bullying a kid. Sod off, or I'll fetch my mum. She was as tough as wolf meat before the Absolute came along. Now, she can punch out a dragon. Two steps at a time. Sir! Glad you found us all right. Odd rubbing elbows with gobs, isn't it? Still getting used to it. Time for a Who wants another drink? So glad to see you safely arrived, sir. We haven't found the weapon yet, but it's good to be among allies, even if they're a bit unusual. What's that? A 
think I heard. Give it us a toast. You raise your glass and shout. The goblins blink at you in confusion. To finding those looters and crushing them. Go on, drink up. Another drink. Steady now. <gasps> Poisoned us. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Very sorry. I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Someone's killing us off! Battle station! Bloody racket! Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Oi! Ain't no party in here. We're doing the absolute's work. State your business. Now. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your lithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Right. Well, you ain't the first foreign type, I suppose. Gonna have to be a bit more specific, though. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Re <laughs> Audience is right. She's an uppity one, and no mistake. She's in telling the War Chiefs what's what. Bloody racket. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Because she shows me! You're not worthy yet. Now here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. That way nobody'll mess with you. And it's charged with magic. You ready? Brace yourself. This As pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She, too, carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ex- I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. 
Us true souls gotta look out for one another. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Oi! Priest! Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. They may die on the road. They will die if they stay. A clear choice, I would say. What? That damn nose of yours has gone poking in our business. Mistress Ollerton, I can explain. Shh, shh. No need. It couldn't be helped. Koga, what is the meaning of this? You think yourself quite the spy, don't you? Go on, tell him. in the cloak word. Korga, have you lost your mind? Halsin is weak, Wrath. But in the shadows, we are strong. We are safe. There is no other way. You and Halsin welcome untouchables to your midst. You defile the grove for the sake of harmony. Oladin speaks truth. Do you disagree? Would you see this grove in ruin? The choice is made. Koga, burn the tainted away. Start with the snitch. As you say, Oladon. No. You... You don't know what you say. In Shadow, we are purified. Korga's voice breaks and her lips tremble. She heard reason in your words. When... When the darkest hour fell, it was us that brought light. Sylvanas demands we illuminate Shadow, not hide within it. How was I so blind? Careful, Korga. The Shadows don't forgive. I belong to the Shadows no longer. You've no power over me! Or you would question my power. Mother Earth, hear me. Grant me your wrath. It's hot in here. Where am I needed? <sighs> Wrath thought me a danger. Seems I've proven him right. It was through power that I would keep her safe. Or so I thought. Yet I betrayed Sylvanus himself. 
Let the circle to shadow. We will stop the right, and I will stand trial. My fate lies with Sylvanus. May he have mercy. It began with a letter. There was no messenger. It simply appeared. Oladon came soon after. An army was coming, she said. Goblins, drow, and more still. Legions upon legions. The druids of Cloakwood knew the dangers this would bring. They ordained that all circles cast the right to shelter from the storm. Oladin taught me to harness the Tree Father's power to wall us in. In return... Well, you know the rest. I would turn the grove over to them. I won't forget the wounds I've inflicted. I pray Halsin returns to heal them in full. We will grant them safe harbor until they depart. Meanwhile, help us contend with the goblins. Perhaps we can dissuade them from attacking. Sure, why not? You have saved Korga from herself. I cannot thank you enough. It seems to be the perfect night to spend a little time together. Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of course. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Worried, are you? Rest easy. To not being poisoned. How about that? Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Does that mean you're spoken for or not? <laughs> Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things... ...they're lost to me right now. Hm. I did. And you remembered. You're sweet. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. What? I know. But you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. It was just what I needed. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes.
That didn't hurt, did it? Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. Oh. All's well, I hope. No. I just wanted to see how you felt after the night we spent together. When we talked and kissed. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. Very serious of you. But go. It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a Dark Justicia. Ready to clear your head? Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Ep Making me sweat. All right. Sharp as ever. Ready to clear your head? Smart. All you need to do, we don't want anyone peeping. There we go. Secret and safe. Secret? Psionic feelers creep across your mind, like a pickpocket's fingers seeking floor. Sifting deeper, she sees the mind flayer holding a wriggling tadpole to your eye. And then the vision lurches. And Helps! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. No. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing things, probably hearing voices too, yeah? Don't you worry. I've got everything I need to fix you. Might get you won't regret this. Being a true soul, you know the absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya. You recognize telltale flecks of werejackal blood. It's a potion of sleep. I ain't deceiving nobody. I'm trying to help. I guess we're doing this the hard way then. Sweet dreams. Wakey, wakey. Don't bother struggling. You ain't going nowhere. The Absolute wants to know all about that critter in your head. So start talking. Liar! We've both seen the monster that put it there, and I know what happens next. Stop trying to confuse me! You're a liar! Everything's clear since the Absolute chose me. You're the one that's broken! Do you even know who you are anymore? Maybe that's what the creature wants you to think. It's gonna start eating your flesh too, changing you. And eventually your skull will split and you'll cough up a mess of tentacles. Stop it! Why would I want to do that? I'm gonna keep you here so I can see every gory detail and hear every whimper and scream. Not likely. You're forgetting one, th but you, you're gonna be my new. You test the weight of the chains, 
looking for weak points. You slipped free of the chains. Why are we here? Oh, parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. The tadpole offers psionic powers, drawn not from the weave, but the latent potential of your own mind. Such power lies beyond Mistress' control, and beyond her permission. Don't worry, you won't come to harm. I'll... You are not ready. That's all right. But try to overcome this resistance sooner rather than later. It will make things much easier for you. That the jingle of coin I hear? Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet, and eager to be elsewhere. Till this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, mine. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. Ask the drow they're all bowing to. Not my concern, so long as I'm paid. Speaking of, something to trade or what? There you are. Glad you're all right. What happened in there? I'm sure you had a good reason. God's rest her. There are enough absolutists in this place to fill a reserve trench. One of them must have something interesting to say, right? Let's find out. A word, if I may. Ready to clear your head? Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. It's an old parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind. The tadpole offers psionic powers, drawn not from... You are not ready. That's all right. But try to overcome this resistance sooner rather than later. It will make things much easier for you. If I were you, I'll get me ass back to the party before somebody put me to work. Praise his ever-bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGloviet. You know McGloviet, deity of the goblinoids, hungry for blood and conquest. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as gormless as the rest of them. That's rich. A free world? And how come I'm locked up like a bloody elf? I'll tell you why. Because I'm loyal to McGlubbyet. Because I ain't having my head turned by some upstart god. Yeah. And I can see by that mark on your hand that you're part of a mock. So bollocks to you. As in, you know, I be so able to smash your face if you go casting expressions. A longing for small spaces, stone walls hugging close, confining. There is a light here, in the tight space beneath the floor. Secret things that shine. 
horrible sack some muck. Drow might need us any time. I be comfortable, sis. Boss Ragslin weren't lying when he said anyone could join the Absolute's ranks. in the acts of kill I know just what to do Time to strike. I'm heating up. Another outsider come to see the boss. <laughs> Mind your manners now, or he'll throw you in the pit. Get down there and stop complaining. Unless you like big, bristling, hairy legs, I wouldn't go down there, mate. That's the spider pit. Let's see. I got the best pet in camp. Don't I, Peach? Oh, you certainly do, my dear. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Don't mind. Keeps him safe from me mates. <laughs> Raids make him rabid. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. More than you got, mate. I likes him. But, um, how much do you got? I could buy a Bagoonian pigeon with that much. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. You there? Aha! <laughs> Look at this! I'm quite saved! A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. That will sound ridiculous. But fine, if you insist, as much as it pains me to cede creative control. Once I've written you into one of my books, there won't be a tavern in Feru you can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. 
please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'd be happy to share my findings once we've found somewhere safe to parley. An invisibility potion, my friend. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God, it'll do the trick. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Time for a time. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the Scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathan, goddess of pain. Ah. Are you also here to assist with the prisoner? Your tastes must turn to the exotic if you would stop here by choice. I was invited to discuss pain and its intricacies, but even I find these goblins crude and, well, primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> yes. One who claims to be a master of pain. Pain is intimate and loving. But... Trying to discuss that with these creatures. Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. Do not be ashamed, child. What I see in your eyes in your soul is only natural. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. As the Maiden of Pain, the Goddess Loviata teaches us, through penance, administered by my skilled hand. My work can grant peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience. It will be worth it. I promise. Go ahead. I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. This man is of common stock. Only the poorest of men need settle for the spectacle of their own gore. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Both Loviata and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply face the wall, and we can begin. Wow. Wow. 
Face the wall and let us begin, dear one. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. Keep going. Don't wear him out entirely, priest. I might have use for him yet. <sighs> pain is proof that we live. Revel in it. Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. Keep going. You are doing so well! Do not give in now! That's it! Do one! Let Leviata hear you! Not the worst technique, priest. Good wrist movement. Lots of enthusiasm. Ah! Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I could feel Oviatar's pleasure with every sting of my scourge. I am proud to have served you this penance. Interesting is an understatement, dear one. Loviatar herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. And on a personal note, thank you. That was positively divine. Your world has strange cut. Don't group me with the likes of them. True. You wouldn't have the grit. Give you peace, you know. But no, you gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Here to see your friend, have you? Come and join him if you like. Say we'll take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. The presence deep in your mind is awake, unblinking. This is it. A single word pervades your consciousness. Soon. Sorry, sir. I didn't realize. It is all yours. Just, just, just don't be too rough, maybe. Moonrise Towers might still want to take him. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, beating it good. What? The prisoner? Oh, forget about him. There'll be more of them soon. Your long pig started squealing yet? Because if you're drinking, job must be done, yeah? Ah, as good as, boss. Got a professional working on him right now. That a fact. 
Hope so. For your sake. Plenty of room next to the Peggy if you're lying. Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Elson, I, I, I don't know. He changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. Yes. It should be here somewhere. They said there was a hidden passage underneath this temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned, but... when we arrived... <laughs> 